Previously on Don't Kiss and Tell. Talk about what? The note that you guys are passing each other in class? Seriously, I don't even know what you want to talk about. Like the fact that you slept with David and didn't even tell me. Oh, so his name is Ray now. Relax, man. Already calling each other nicknames and stuff. Nothing happened. You stay out of this, okay? Okay, okay. But tell me, please, do call me if you need anything. She won't be calling you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Yeah, Anna. I don't want to talk anyway, so I'm sure there are other better things we can get up to. I know mm -hmm. that's for sure. Um, can I get you anything? How about you get your hands up self over here? I'm pregnant. And who is the father? And why are you telling me this? It's yours. That is not mine. Get out of my car. No, I'm serious, like I'm having your baby. <laughs> that is not mine. Um, <coughs> um, hi. Uh, uh, we're not sure if we have the right house. Um, we're looking for Silas. Silas, in connection with what? <laughs> uh, <coughs> um, I just, I just need to talk to you. And who are you? Can I just see Silas, please? Hey, why do you want to see my husband? Your, Your husband? husband? Yes! Don't kiss and tell Wherever if you wish me well That liquor is killing your liver Don't put your hands on me Don't kiss and tell Wherever if you wish me well That liquor is killing your liver Don't put your hands on me uh, Fake friends Always so shady like Ray Benz uh, You tryna change but it's hard Shoot for the moon so you fall on the stars Stop the abuse, chill with the booze, love Less fights, more hugs, love uh, Please don't over drink to kill your problems Getting drunk never ever really solves them Don't kiss and tell Wherever if you wish me well That liquor is killing your Guys, 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 Come on, come on. Wait up. Hey. Oh, it's, it's been a minute. It's been a while, I know. I know. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. okay. I'm good. How, how are you? I've been okay. Been good. No, besides this hectic schedule. Hey, you know, I'm not even going to lie. Uh, I saw Miss Titus was to get revenge on us. I mean, seriously, it's not even yet exam time yet, and the amount of school work we have. I mean, it's not even yet exam time yet, and the amount of school work we have. I know, right? <laughs> I know. It's about to get real. It's about to get real. Mm, uh, can I walk you home? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, sure. That would um, give us a chance to, you know, talk. To talk, yeah, it's true. Been a, been a while. Good to see you. Been a while. Good to see you, baby. <laughs> You look sad. Are you okay? Are you, is everything fine? Yeah, I'm okay. Anywho, how is guy that won the best project at the science been doing? <laughs> it was a close call, by the way, uh -huh. you know, between me and the other girl who came second. But, oh well, I made it. Oh, what are these marks on your neck? What? <laughs> what marks? And more on your wrist. My God, what's happening? What's going on? It's uh... a... <laughs> yeah? I got beaten up. By who? <laughs> it's a joke! Oh, I got lightened up. You know how clumsy I can get? I walked into the pool the other day and I fell off the bed. It's nothing big. Really, Hilma? Really? Yeah. Goodness. 
Anywho, mm. will you come in and have lunch with me? Ah, uh, I always wanted to have lunch at your place. And I'm so glad that this is gonna be the day. Okay, why I wanna taste you your cooking, me, by the way. Because I'm not a good cook or anything. Yeah. Doesn't matter, as long as I taste your cooking, it's okay. Okay, cool. So, uh, so what are you doing? This is actually a nice place. You got a very nice new place. Ah, thanks. My mom actually did the decorations as well. Really? Yeah, she's amazing. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay. Dishing. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm hungry. Ah, oh, me too. Hmm. This is really, really nice. I like it. So. Yeah. How are things between you and Eddie? They're okay. Hmm. Okay, I can tell from the excitement. <laughs> I said they are okay. Now drop it. Okay. Okay. Well, Helma, uh, I just wanted to apologize for what happened last time. You know, me telling you about my feelings, and and I understand I really put you in an awkward situation. And it was actually selfish of me to do that. And all I wanted is just for you to be really happy. But I am happy. Um, Helma, the Bruce has actually tell me a different story. He hates you, doesn't he? No! Why would you say something like that? Come on, Helma. I can see your bruises on your neck. In your arms. I already told you, I must have hurt myself. Well, Hilma, I don't believe you because nobody hurts themselves just like that. Eddie been hitting you, doesn't he? Hmm? Yes, he does, but... But he doesn't mean to, okay? He... He loves me. He loves you. Hilma, love does not hurt or hit, okay? It doesn't. I love him, he loves me, and, and I know he can change. No, Hilma, no. You need to leave him now, or else you become another statistic. Okay, you know what? The truth is, maybe, maybe I, maybe I need to, to start doing things differently. I need to, to stop doing things that upset him. I need to start respecting him more. I mean, this may sound crazy, but me and Eddie are meant to be. What? We are meant to be. Meant to be? So, so Hilma, you, basically what you're trying to tell me is that your destiny involves you getting hurt, constantly. Oh, okay, stop making him sound like a monster. Well, to me, it seems like it. Damn. Stop defending him, Yelma. You need to leave him and that's it. Look, you don't need to do it right away, okay? Because I know it's a lot to take in. You are being unfair to yourself. You are a good girl and you deserve better things. Okay, fine. The truth is, how do I leave him? Eddie is a violent guy and I'm scared. Actually, that's what every woman in abusive relationship says. You staying doesn't actually reduce your chances of getting hurt. It actually increases your chances of ending up dead anyway. How do I leave him? How do I break down the news to him without something bad happening. <laughs> Can't believe this. After all he been hitting you, you still try to protect him or covering up for him. 
I'm scared. How, how do I leave him? You don't need to be scared. The Namibian police have a protection un unit, okay? They have a protection unit for women and children. They can able to assist you. Okay, so um, what are the procedures for this? All you do is just go there and they'll be able to assist you. And if you like, I can come with. And um, what about Eddie? What about him? What happens to him? <laughs> As I said lately, even after he's been hitting you, giving you bruises on your neck, you still try just to cover him up and protect him. You still care about him. Okay, the, if I don't know you, society has already labeled these men as monsters and have given up on them. I mean, at the end of the day, they are still our brothers, they are still our fathers, husbands. Isn't there a way that we could help them? Yeah, actually there is. He should actually start going to church. Yeah, he's not been going to church. He better start because that guy really need a wake up call. Be serious. Yeah, I know. You'll be fine. You'll be okay, okay? Thank you, Ray. Anytime, can, anytime. Can you keep this between us? Of course, sure. So about last night though, it's crazy, but uh, like, you're right, Marianne is seeing someone else. But here's the weird thing, she, at first she was mad at me because of something that happened with Hilma, but now she, I see her with another guy. Yeah, uh, Hilma? Oh, <laughs> did I say Hilma? Nah, I actually meant Monica. Mo see, Monica, that's why I can't keep up with you though. <laughs> nah man, it's not like that. Mm. Okay, so, so what, then, what happened? And then, uh, okay, we're at the restaurant and then Marianne was sitting at the tables with that other guy. I was sitting a, a few tables away from them and then I uh, watched them. You Wait, you watched them? <laughs> if I was you, I would have rocked up and gave that guy a beat down, man. That's your girl. <laughs> no, bro, it's not like that, okay? I, and besides, I was, I had a game plan. Game plan. I was with Monica mm. and she, while she was with that other guy. Okay, and then what happened? And then nothing, bruh. Like, okay, she went to the bathroom. I followed her. She gave me attitude. I gave her attitude back. And then she left. Whoa, are you serious, bruh? Ouch, yeah. Yeah, bruh. And then I went back to my table and took Monica home. See? That's why I can't keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, bruh, it's not like that. Nothing happened. Oh, sure. Sure, nothing happened. No, that's, I'm being serious, that's, bruh. That's, that's not hard okay, to believe. So, what now? Now, nothing, bruh. I'm done. With girls, I'm done. <laughs> Wait, you? What? No, I'm being for real, bro. All this drama, I'm done with all of this, man. I'm out. <laughs> That's what you said the last time, homie. No, but look, actually, I believe her, man. And plus, there's this book I should give you guys. It's called I Kiss Dating Goodbye. I... Okay, hold up. <laughs> for starters, you guys, I don't know where y'all at, but nobody's gonna read no cheesy book about kissing, dating, goodbye, okay? Dude, man, it's real. Oh. And that book is. Deep, man. Look, for starters, homie, you're a guy in his own league, okay? Of course, I'm always in my own league. The winning league. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> but anyway, how's Hilma doing, man? I don't know, bruh. She hasn't been answering my calls ever since Marianne found out. Marianne! Hey, Sam, what, what are you... Are you following me? No, I'm not following you. I just came here to get some painkillers. But what's going on with you, though? I, 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 you, you've been acting very strange lately. I, I call you, you don't call back. I text you, you don't reply. What's, did I do something wrong? Oh. No, you didn't, but I just I can't see you anymore. But why? I mean, the other day, during the date, I thought we had a connection, like a real connection. I just can't, okay? 
Is, is it about the guy I saw you with at the restaurant the other day because I swear I saw something between you two? Um, oh, oh well, he's my ex-boyfriend now, so... Then what is going on? Why are you acting so strange lately? What, what's up with you? You know what, Sam? I can't talk about this with you, okay? And I'm serious. I, I really can't see you anymore. You know what? It's fine. You don't look okay, but I respect your decision, all right? Uh, all right, thank you. I, I have to go. No, I'll, I'll see you around. Okay. Marianne! Dude, what's taking you so long, bruh? I've been waiting in the car for a while now and you're just standing here. I bumped into Marianne. You what? <laughs> Dude, you need to let go of this girl, bruh. I mean, the fact that she's, she's not answering your call says it all. Yeah, whatever, man. It's just that she's been acting strange lately, man. I'm telling you, I swear the first time I went out with her, we had such a connection, but now, I don't know. Dude, it's probably just in your imagination, bro. This girl doesn't probably like you. No, no, man, I'm telling you, she's acting very strange lately. When I got here, yeah? she was looking at some pregnancy things, man. What? You slept with her? Dude, how could you? You took advantage of her, bro. I mean, no wonder she's not answering your calls. The girl is probably traumatized, bro. You know what? Just stop it. Just stop it, man. Alright. I didn't sleep with her. Okay, cool. Alright. Man, I found out what? Um. <laughs> Did I say Hilma again? No, no, you no, said Hilma. Actually, what about um, you and Hilma? Yeah, I was just trying to. Oh, okay, okay this is what I meant. <laughs> Uh, what about you and Hilma? Um, okay, okay, I'll tell you. Tell us what? Like, this happened like a few weeks before you and Hilma hooked up. Tell us what? Why are you trying to tell me, homie? What are you trying to tell me? Okay, I was at my cousin's party, right? And I bumped into Hilma. Did you sleep with her? Dude, like... Did you sleep Eddie? with her? No, okay. Did we, Eddie? We had uh, a few drinks and one thing led to another Eddie? and... <laughs> Eddie! Oh, oh, man. Oh, Eddie! Oh, Eddie, oh, Eddie, calm down. Muro! You can't go around sleeping with everyone, man. Dude. When? When? Dude, dude. dude. Who are you even gonna tell me? Dude, I just found Where out about gonna... this, man. Where are you even gonna... Where... Why, do I... Eddie, Why am I only down. finding out now? When? When? Um... When? It happened. It happened a week before you started seeing. Oh. Muna! 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 Jeez, calm down, man. Eddie, calm down. Calm down. Oh. Eddie. Uh, oh. You? You stay away from her. No wonder Marianne left you. Jesus. Eddie. Eddie, hold up. Eddie, I'm sorry, man. Let's talk about this. Eddie! Dude, what were you even thinking, man? Oh. I wasn't thinking, bro. We had too much to drink. You see, this is why I don't drink as much as you guys do. And now Eddie is pissed, man. You need to call Hilma and warn her. Yeah, I will. Just as soon as she answers my call. I really need to fix this. You really need to fix this, man. I'm gonna go check up on Eddie. Oh god, I'm so loving my new hair. Oh my gosh, I don't even need Brazilians to be pretty. I look so pretty. I love my natural hair. Oh, the things we put ourselves through. What? Listen, little girl. You came into my house. You find my wife. I don't want to see you again in my house. Of course I went to your house. So you just used me? And you didn't even tell me you had a wife? But like, does she even know? I was going to tell you, but I was waiting for the right time. <laughs> the, <laughs> the right time? Well, the beginning would have been the perfect time. I, I hope you got rid of the baby. No, I won't. Then you know what, Nair? My aunt is coming back. And I will have to tell her she will kick me out. You know? and, 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 and what do you expect me to do? Well, you will take care of me. I can't do that. I told you, get rid of it. 
listen here. I'm not going to get rid of this baby. And if you don't want to support this child, I'll take you to court and then you'll pay child support. Your name will even be on the record and your wife will be the last person that you'll be concerned about. What did you say? What are you doing here? Marianne, my wife is asking a lot of questions about you. I came here in person to tell you that this thing between you and me, it's, it's a done deal. Well, your wife has the right to know the truth. And this baby that I'm carrying has the right to be taken care of. Okay, what will you take? Money? Okay, how much do you want? Oh, nothing. Listen, my wife wants to know about this. And I don't want to see you again in my house. And the baby? The baby? That's a problem. It's none of my business. Wait, wait, no! No, 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 my auntie will kick me out. Please, no! No! Please! No! Always so shady like Ray Benz, uh You tryna change but it's hard Shoot for the moon so you fall on the stars Stop the abuse, chill with the booze, love Less fights, more hugs, love, uh Please don't over drink to kill your problems Getting drunk never ever really solves them Don't kiss and tell Wear a rubber if you wish me well That liquor is killing your river Don't put your hand in your daddy Yeah, yeah, better focus on your family Yeah, yeah Don't kiss.